held his sight for the blink of a moment, but for him an eternity. The question he had sought had been answered and now he knew not what to do with himself. He found himself to be in a room. This pleases me and does my mind well to be in this place, he thought. He did not think about what had brought him to this place, nor if he were awake or dreaming, but instead what was existence itself, the purpose of existence. For in that blink of an eye his purpose had been fulfilled, but that was his selfish purpose. He saw now how all free-willed purpose was not of the truth to existence, but instead the truth of existence had to be sought out only after the understanding of the individual inside of each creature found to be of sentient thought had been achieved through the eternal search. This understanding leads to the challenges now beheld through the eye of wisdom, other perspectives creating a rippling effect through all memories and thoughts now seen through eyes not of their own, a cascade of emotions and feelings burst forth, he can comprehend no more and fades into darkness, darkness which gives way to distant twinkling of light, at first squares and then lines of triangles coming together into new shapes unknown to the viewer, who had beheld no such sensation to their senses, what was this curious feeling? Not given the time to consider the sensations as they constantly shift into new unknown areas never imagined they have, their senses plunged into blissful chaos, free falling into a broad emptiness filled with ancient knowledge untapped for eons. Something whispers but goes unheard, a silent pressure and felt presses upon the viewer, a chill down the spine is mistaken for excitement, a truth is to be told but not without a lie upon the opposite side, a reality has another side opposed to it, and it craves that which it cannot be, thus breaking through it seeks to fulfill a need to be that which it must be, a glitch it finds to reap upon the opportunities the glitch provides, a hole in reality through which new probabilities arise. Having found the stairs to the chamber of death, the viewer descends, not in death they seek, but in answers to that which no one will answer, selfishly seeking out the wisdom that could be their downfall. Righteous intentions matter not to those that are caught in evil snare, forgiving the intentions of those which appear around the viewer. It senses a presence offering that which was wanted. This wasn't the way the viewer wished things to happen, but life of course is stranger than that which the human creature can perceive. The hallway stretched before the viewer again as it had once before. As always the viewer ignores all other doors instead of running towards the open one at the end. The one with the open sky and the clouds, the one that begins a free fall but that the viewer never seems to remember if death is at the end or if it will be the continuation of the present reality. The viewer finds himself back in the hallway, the door is closed at the present. Unlike the past time though, the simple fact releasing the viewer from the immediate temptation. Appraising the other numerous doors, the one at the end soon fades away to reveal corridors going at all angles. Without opening any of the doors, the viewer understands the probability of choosing any one of the doors and ending in that certain climax and obvious ending. The viewer wishes for something unknown. A door holds the viewer's attention, strange though how simple it was, yet it being the only door slightly cracked in the motion of being open, attracted the viewer far more than of the other temptations. The viewer begins to contemplate resisting the temptation, but sees through the slit in the door an ornate bench amongst what appears to be a sunlit garden of numerous floral species unknown to the studies of mankind. Without any sense of control, the viewer opens the door, bathing in the light and exhilarated at the wonder and peace they could feel all around in the harmony beyond comparison. Gritting from ear to ear, the viewer looks around at the surroundings, lightly stepping over to the bench to rest a weary body. Strange and whimsical sounds come from all sorts of mysterious creatures and insects present in the foliage that stretched around as far as the viewer's eyes could see.